What's happening folks, it's your boy Reminisce. I'm back with another video and today I want to show you guys how I use the control room feature in Cubase while I'm mixing. So there's other features with control which I'm not going to go through in detail. This is specifically just for how I use it when I mix my records um, using reference songs and whatever have you. So let's get into it. So in here in the session, as you can see, I just got some I don't know, it's a sample pack that I have, some West Coast, stu uh, some West Coast stuff. I'm just going to quickly play it for you. Okay, so you hear the beat, and at the top, you're going to see is I have this track called Ref, which is reference, and I've got the actual beat in there, which you're not going to hear but I'm going to show you how I use that reference track at the top through the control room feature um, in Cubase. So the first thing we got to do is go into studio, audio connections, and set up the control room. So, so when you open up your audio connections, you're going to see this screen. And right now, by default, the sound is going through the output, which is a stereo output, obviously, through my sound card. But in order for you to use the control room feature, you actually got to go up in here and to not connect it because what's going to happen is everything's going to route through the control room. So in the control room, you can see we got nothing here. So let's set this up. So just right click on there. I'm going to add a cue. We're going to call this one reference. Okay. And that's not connected to anything because it's going to go through the stereo pair. And then we're going to add monitor and that's going to be stereo. We'll just call it monitor. Okay, and that we're going to connect your card. So as you can see now, um, it's connected. So if we play this back, this should work. Let's see. Yeah, so, and as you can see on the bottom right, it's going through the mix. Okay, so now, how do I set up the reference track? So I've created the track. This is just a stereo audio track. I've created this reference track. I've just dropped the actual full mix of these stems in here. So what you want to do is that cue send that you see, you want to turn that on. If you don't see that cue send, you just got to come up here anywhere, right click, set up sections, enable the cue send. And then the other thing you also got to do is in your routing, make sure this is set to no bus. Okay. So now when I play this back, this is the mix going. So this is the stems right now. But if I hit Q on the bottom right, that's the actual mix. Go back. So now the other cool thing about this, if I go to this reference track, I can actually go in here and add an insert. Let's add the metric AB. I'm going to take that file and drag it in here again. So this is still in reference mode and I'm going to basically come in. I'm going to play the stems. Okay. Hit the cube. There you go. So you got multiple ways to do this. The nice thing about this is I can add other stuff and let those run. I can loop some of this so it keeps playing over and over again in certain spots, which is really nice while I'm mixing. This is a really versatile way of doing things. I prefer this way. But if you don't have this plugin, you can also, you know, create your own reference track which I've done in the past, for example, drums from one song, vocals from another song, you know, keys from another song, a big hodgepodge of stuff together and stick it in there and you got something to work on. So now here's the other thing I want to show you guys is I'm going to set up a hot key for this. So it's really easy to do for me on my, you know, so I've got Cubase set up with all these hot keys. So my left hand is doing all the editing while my right hand is on the mouse. And I can show you how to do that. So you go to edit key commands. I'm just going to pick my uh, preset here and you're going to type in here select control and there you have it. I've got shift Z or Z as my hotkey to go from Q to mix. So now if you look at the window here, I'm going to hit play on here right now. This is mix mode. So you're going to hear all this, all the stems. I'm going to hit my hotkey flipping back and forth. It's so easy. I love this feature. You can't go wrong with a hotkey, man. So there you guys have it. I just wanted to quickly do this video on the control room and how I use this for uh, mixing in Cubase 14 or any version of Cubase that's got this control room feature. So it's really easy to set up. It takes five minutes 
and it's such a blessing, I tell you. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And please like this video as well. I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, folks, this is Reminis. Peace out.